Good morning. Um, good morning. My name is Tina. Today I will be making another lunch food for my children and I will also uh, make some nice fruits for their lunch box. So I'd like you to watch me while I prepare for my morning routine. So first of all, when I wake up in the morning, today I'm going to make um, potato and tomatoes and um, it's going to be a mixed potato also today. So I would like you to, to watch me when I prepare for their lunch. what I do in the morning, every morning, 5 o'clock. So this is what I do every morning. Um, so here are my potatoes and um, I'll just cut them. Okay. I'll just call them good morning welcome to my live show Welcome to my live show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you're watching. Um, today we are making a text, so... For the children, for my children, right? So I'll just wash them. Can you see me? Can you guys see me okay? So I'll just wash this. And get my pot ready. So here is the part I'll just Oops. first of all where is the pot right? I said that yesterday. So I'll get them in the pot. Mm -hmm. 
Turn on the gas. So today we'll be going to school by 7.20. So I have all the time to, to cook and get my children ready for school. Right. I just finished my three. I just finished feeding my three years old daughter. And like like I said yesterday, my three years old daughter. I get feed first every morning when I wake up. Um, she gets feed first, and then I can proceed in making their their lunch for school. Right. I know some people will say three years old. Why are you still feeding her? Why do you have to? wake her up in the morning yes I do have to wake her up she's still a baby to me so I still feed my three years old child regardless her age okay because I can't wake her up around seven o'clock and start feeding her and start giving her bread and stuff you know what I mean if you understand so I usually give her seven like in the morning when um, I wake up around five o'clock at least five o'clock five ten yeah I give her, I give her her first breakfast. So, so what I do to my other son is, I when he's wait, when he's done with taking shower and all of that, of course she, he will be the first to take shower. So what I do with my first son is after after the shower and everything dressed up. And then I'll give him maybe cereal or I'll make oats for him to eat to school, right? Um, after then, I will just get them ready and then we'll go to school happily, you know? These are the things mothers need to understand. Okay, so when your child is three years old, doesn't mean you can still feed your three years old child. You can feed your three years old child, you can feed your four years old, they're still babies. They are toddlers. I mean, you will still have to feed them. But some mothers, I don't know. I don't know their reasons. But for me, this is how it works for me. I get them ready even before school. So I'll just get some corn flowers. Right? Mm. Sorry for not moving the camera. I don't know if you can see me. I don't know if you can see me from afar. So, sorry, I don't intend back in the camera. I don't intend back in the camera. So, Mothers and fathers <laughs> can always do this for their children. Not only mothers, also fathers can also do this for their children. They don't have to be involved. Basically, mom needs to wake on time, okay, and prepare their children for school, okay. Setting that time frame is important for me every morning. So this is what I do in the morning to get my children ready for school. So this is called flower, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. I'm, I know I'm a little bit far from the camera, but I just want you to see what I do for my children. them and 
and wash them. Okay. And this one here is broccoli, fresh broccoli. Fresh broccoli. Broccoli. As you can see, this is fresh broccoli. These are all vegetables, by the way. So I'll just get them, wash them. And I'll just um, show you our dinner also. What I do for dinner, I will show you so you can you can see what I also do for dinner for my kids. One sec. One sec, guys. Excuse me. I'm going to cut some onion. I'll also make sure that my kitchen is clean. Okay, the green of this you get to the bag to wash these things out. So I get my garlic and ginger. Trash, just trash this one and then keep the rest in the fridge. My fridge breaks the rest of what I'm not using it. I'm not using it anymore. Um, should I make fish, meat, or beef, or chicken again today? What should I do? <sighs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking, what should I do? <sighs> All right, I have a frozen like a lamb kebab, like chicken kebab. So this will go in the oven, right? For just one minute, I have chicken kebab. I'm gonna bring them out. Let me just give this one. One sec. I have chicken kebab. Oh. What are you making? What are you preparing for the kids today? Today you're making perfect all um, vegetables. Potato and vegetables. So that's what I'm making today for the kids. As you can see, this is a veg, veg for today. So 
still the veg for today, so I just soak them a little bit. Okay, wash them. Please share, like, and follow the page. If you are new to this page, you are very welcome. This is what I'll be doing every morning. This is my morning routine, like I said, daily routine. And also, I might come again to show you what I do in the meantime. Okay, if I have that time, of course, I will come online and show you what I'm doing. But today, my children don't have a swimming spot. All right, so there is no point to rush to school. This is chicken fingers. This is lamb kebab. Can you see it? Can you see it's okay? So I'm gonna put this in one of these. And also, and one of these, as you can see. Right, these are frozen foods. Okay. I'll put one of the fish fingers. Fish fingers. I'm gonna add this to this, and then the next thing I'm gonna do now is. Just blend my my what's it called ginger. So this is ginger. I'll we'll just. Tomatoes. One sec. I need to get get some tomatoes. Add a little salt. Sometimes when I watch on Facebook, I see how some some mothers prepare their children food. Children under three years old. And then I asked myself, what is going on here? I don't understand. No, like saying, everybody have a way of cooking for their children. But my way of cooking for my children, and I, which I believe is very, very okay, is this. But oh, excuse me, guys. Let me quickly get tomatoes. One minute.
if she just should I get the window open or can you guys still hear me okay? some nice tomatoes on it. Sometimes you can just use vegetable, but tomatoes is also vegetable. I love to use tomatoes a lot. It helps, you know, it has a lot of vitamins. Lots of vitamins. And guys, make sure you always give your children vitamins, especially the newborns. Make sure you try to give them vitamin D. It's very important if you have a newborn baby, you give them vitamin D up until maybe four years. I don't know, but my children still take vitamin. Even the six years old, my six years old son, take vitamins every morning. Vitamin D, especially, is very, very, very important for children. Vitamin D. I see some mother. When I ask them, do you give your children vitamin D? It helps for the bones, okay? It will also help you. I know I stay in a country where we have a lot of sun, okay? But it is impossible for you to take your children in that whole sun. So if you cannot take the children in the sun, just make sure you give them vitamin D, okay? It's important you do that not only when they are babies, you can give vitamin D, no. You can also give them vitamin D when they are. My son still take vitamin D as long as I can. Okay, if you can afford, they have cheap, cheap ones. You can vitamin D anyway, so you can just you know get some nice vitamins for your children. Okay, the mother will say, oh, we don't have money for that. Just try and see how you can. What's going on here? Go to the blog, it's done. Okay, no props. I'll just take off this one. It's already made. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll just put them in the oven first. A few minutes later, I'll put the Can you see me okay?
So I'll just get this. I don't want to fry today. No frying. Get it in. Okay. I'll just leave them to boil. Our tomatoes here are very soft. So get them boiling and then we can add olive oil. Alas, food is ready. Yesterday, I forgot to show you guys uh, the. I forgot to show you guys the the, the mixed rice after cooking. I just I was down, I had to rush down to the school. I had to take my children, rush them to school. Yeah. So there was no lot of time for me yesterday. But today, hopefully, I will not forget. I'm not, I'm not used to live videos. <laughs> I, so I just have to clean whatever I have here. Relax. Yeah. So the mother should make sure they give their your children vitamins every morning, okay? Try your best and see how you can you can give your children vitamin D. I've been trying to, to make sure I keep my children away from any form of um, um, infection or sickness or any of this. So I give them immune tablets. Okay. Oh. Facebook people are not seeing what I'm doing. Guys, I'm not used to Facebook uh, live video, but well, I'm trying my best. So I just, the important thing is for you to get the message. That's the important thing, is to get the message, okay? So you must, you must try as you can to, to give them vitamin D and also, you know, if you have any immune tablet also, a vitamin to, to you know, support with the vitamin D, it's also good. Okay. 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 It's just like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Facebook live video. Yeah. Just drop some things here. Okay. 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 All right. So the next thing I will do after this is. Getting the food sorted to their lunch box. Get them set right to air. Lunch bars. After this, I'll just add a little maggie. Little. I don't use maggie before, but I'll just add a little maggie. Hello? If you can't do all of this, um, I advise you to get 
already made um, not food already made tomatoes already made yeah you can because it's not everyone and not, not everyone can do this believe me guys not everyone can do this I'll just get a little bit of olive oil here okay I just add a little olive oil here for the kids olive oil is very good one spoon a day is very good for you you can check with your doctors okay and ask them questions if you feel like you don't understand what I'm saying here I'm not a science student but I know because I can tell you a little bit of myself so if you if you're confused you can ask your doctor right someone said this is good someone said this is good I want to my video then the doctor can further to explain Doctor can further explanation why you need to take them. Okay, it's very good. Thank you so much. Will you hear me? I don't understand. The doctor can explain to you. Wow, it's gonna be yummy. Sounds nice. Nice aroma. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you back to I'm gonna take you back to the other table, so bear with me guys. Okay, so Papa. Okay, yeah. If you don't have bottle of water, you can use the dispenser water or pure water, whatever water that is good, you can just get them and put them in the water bottle. Clean water. But just make sure it's clean water. If it's pure water, you, can, you know, get them and put them. You don't have to use bottle water. No? But in my own case, I use bottle water. I think most countries also use bottle water. So if you don't have money for bottle butter, well, bottle bottles, you can also use whatever clean water, drinkable water. You know what I mean. So. Just get it in the water bottle. Once my children are back from school, what I do is first thing I wash all their plates, all their, I mean, sorry, their box, their lunch box, keep it clean in their bottle water bottle. So my two years old daughter is gonna close today by two o'clock and the big one is gonna close by two thirty. Alright, we're doing tangerine. As you can see, it's gonna be tangerine today. Banana. Tangerine, banana and what else? What else will I do for them? What else should I do? Can anyone tell me what to do? Okay, I know. Apple. Mm. 
one apple a day send the doctor okay I still have pen one apple a day send the doctor away so it's good to eat apple every day I do eat apple every day so if you have apple I don't know if you don't have you can use what you have you can also use any fruit you have you know So, but this is what works for me. Apple. I can't move the room like that. I would have loved to show you guys what I do. So if I want to do some apples for my, my daughter, what I do is I take off the skin. She doesn't really like the skin. So some others boy the apple for their children. But in my own case, I don't do that. So this is the drain. Just whatever, whatever. If you have any, if you have any left um, fruit, just put them in. Some hard leaves and you put them, make sure you put them in the fridge, but make sure it is in a bag and then you can trash the rest of the you can trash the rest of the <coughs> pills. Okay. <coughs> so that is that from that. We'll turn this camera and we can see what I'm cooking. Just put the fish fingers <clears throat> in the oven. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So that is basically what I do in the morning. So I just do all of this, as you can see.
Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. The next song, um, five to ten minutes, I'll just go with my children up and then we are ready for the day.
add a tiny little bit more and then call it a day let's see our food let me show you what is what it looks like can you all see okay mm -hmm. right 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 so this is what it looks like it looks like porridge vegetable porridge potato vegetable and porridge so i'm just doing here can you all see all right so that is what it looks like i'll just leave it a little bit to to dry out and then we have it to go all right guys um i'll see you all tomorrow morning and show you what i uh, will be making for my children tomorrow all right thank you all for watching thank you bye bye which one will i switch your first mm. And the live video, yes. And share. All right, Facebook. Thank you all for joining. Bye bye. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you later today. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you all. Please like, share, follow, send, and so I can have more people joining us in the morning. I know it's too early. Bye bye.